has one job. Yeah, I was, I was saying your internet or whenever you have, if you could go over that, uh, that little trick you do, which is quite useful. Oh, for yeah. The... Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, so me too, no. let, let me explain it again. So you first start by making a, a sphere, you're doing zero, 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 in whatever software you want, right? That it's With like, a proper scale of a head, right? Uh, no, kind of like two times bigger than a head, like 0 0.3. Right. Because this will define the, the, the scene size, right? And I'm usually doing like 0 0.3 or 0 0.25. Okay. Which, well, if you put, put 0 0.25, it will be uh, like the head should fit in half of the sphere, right? Okay. Okay. And you export this. Mm -hmm. okay. You export not go Z or anything else. You export this as a sphere. I think your lag right now is... I'm lagging. Lagging as in tw uh, stream lag. My internet dropping again? No, no, I mean, usually it's around two or three minutes or something, right? Or I think it's fast now because you were saying, oh, then you export this and like 10, 15 seconds afterwards, I could see you go up to file, export, type yeah. in, whatnot. It's good if it's so I think okay. that's good, right? Yeah. Okay, so... You go here and you start in, in a new scene, right? A new base mesh like this. You import that sphere. So this set up the, the scale of the, the scale. of the scene. Now you have the brushes at proper size, right? You don't need to go for crazy values to move things around and shit like yeah. that. Right? And on this scene you append your head. And now you have perfect symmetry. I think that actually your head it's uh, it's a bit too big. Or is it not? Let me change the shader. Oh no, it's kind of yeah, it's perfectly fine. It's at scale. Okay, so now you have this this scene. You can leave this uh, where it was. You can even make it smaller, not to confuse you. And it will be the first asset. You know, every time you're saving the scene, the first asset it's renamed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fucking bothers me. Uh, after yeah, so I usually keep the sphere first asset. You know, so I can export everything as FBX and don't fuck up the names for baking, right? If you're having baking groups and shit. Mm -hmm. So basically now, uh, with a draw size of 90, at 90 you have exactly what you have in uh, in Marmoset set with, uh, with 30. Oh, okay. a, a field of view of 30. The, nor the default camera in Marmoset. The default, set. yeah. Yeah, if you want to go, like if you're working with some references from uh, uh, red carpet shit for likeness or whatnot, uh, which are with a um, uh, wide angle lens, like uh, mm -hmm. with a fall in between 80 and 110, right? You will go for something like 30 and it will work. You see, everything it gets wider. I need to kill a cat, just a second. So, so basically, this is what you need to do to actually uh, have a proper perspective in in ZBrush. So you would be working throughout, uh, always with ninety, then. Yeah, if I want to uh, match pictures or references that are made with a fucking phone, for example, which it's kind of close to 30 from like pictures with a, with a phone camera that are like mm -hmm. in between one and two meters away, 
Now I kind of have like a 4 of 30. But if you're working with uh, references that are taking uh, on a red carpet, like uh, when you're making a likeness to a star, right? Most of the pictures you'll find on the internet will be from presentations and shit like that. And those are all made with canons with 91, 110 and shit like that field of view. So you'll go to 30 to match this where you actually see the from 3 by 4 you actually see the other year. Mm -hmm. And this will give you a proper idea about how how things will uh, will look in your uh, in Marmoset, right? In in any real camera environment. Oh, kind of funny that's like, okay, let me try and do that. It, it, you said point 25.3 uh, I'm guessing that's a meter yeah it's in meters okay uh, yeah meters not centimeters sorry yeah 0 0.25 meters yeah and radius so half a meter in in diameter I don't know how Maya is doing shit actually you know what let me actually use my Also keep in mind that sometimes uh, ZBrush is doing stuff like if you worked, if you have a lot of tools that are um, at a different scale, uh -huh. it might n not update the draw, uh, the view field. Okay. So you might need to close uh, uh, ZBrush and just load this tool that you created from scratch. Because sometimes it's, it's going places, I don't know exactly no, why. Okay, okay, like a cache or something. Yeah, it's just going, and sometimes uh, the local works properly, like in this case, mm -hmm. right, where it, it's actually deforming properly, and sometimes it's it's fucked up completely. I don't know why. Also, if you if you add to this scene like a full body, it will change the field of view because this is a this is a fucking zbrush, right? So if you add the rest of your character, uh, the field of view will change. This only works for heads only. Ah, okay, okay. Because okay. if you add the, the whole body, it will change the field of view. It will okay. look different. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. If if you would then continue on working with this file, or if you would just... Then, well, you first you know. start with the face, basically, when you're doing yeah. your character, right? So you make the face, then when you start adding stuff, you don't care about uh, okay. perspective yeah. anymore. Okay. No, uh, Hannibal, I'm just explaining Raul because he he can't find in the videos where exactly was when I explained this shit. It was on Clementine, but I, I, I can't... It's a... Sh I should it's have uh, marked that, but I forgot about it. It, it. it would actually be cool. It would help a lot of people going back and what... Like, name it 